Greetings all. So we just learned some really great information about the botanist and the suffragist, Mary Agnes Chase. So what we're going to do today is kind of embody the essence of Mary Agnes Chase, who started her career off as an illustrator of plants before she officially became a botanist at the USDA. So today, what we're going to do is hopefully, if weather permits, go outside and become a field scientist, a field illustrator. First things first, we have to create our book, which we're going to do here with these supplies. And then we're going to go outside or look outside of our windows and see what kind of plants, grass, flowers, or any type of living plant that we see and draw it down in our illustration book. Unfortunately for me, it's pretty rainy outside and it has been for a while. As you know, April showers bring May flowers, but I hope by the time you're viewing this video that the weather is nice and you're able to go outside. So let's talk about our materials first. First things first, you need a blank white piece of paper. A colored piece of paper will work as well. It just doesn't need to have anything on it. And make sure you have dark enough uh, color pencils or utensils that you're going to use that will show up. I would say if you do have one, the white paper is preferred. Make sure you have a pair of scissors, a writing utensil, and some things to color and draw with. I'm only going to be using a couple of colors because this is what I have. Let's go ahead and start by making our actual illustration book. So I'm going to flip my paper. What you want to do is fold your paper in half, like so. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about the attempt. Fold it in half yet again. And you're gonna fold it in half one more time. And this time around, you want this particular edge to be kind of sharp, pretty crispy. So if you have nails, use your nails. If you don't, you can use the back of your scissor and use your scissors and make that crispy. All right, so now that we have it, like so. You can also pause this video at any point in time if I'm going too quickly. You're going to reopen until you have four rectangles. What you're going to do from there is cut on one of the lines of the rectangles. You can either do the top one or you can do the bottom one. I'm going to do the bottom one just because it's the easiest one for me. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about the attempt. You're going to open it back up. So it looks like this. And now you see all eight rectangles, four on each side. And then you're gonna use it kind of like an accordion. Like, bah, 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 da, 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 right? And that's what we're gonna do until it comes together like so. Once you get this side, you can fold it either which direction you prefer. And now you have yourself a nice little booklet. I'm going to name my book. This is my writing utensil. I will name it What I See Out My Window by me. You can name it whatever you want. You can say illustrations drawn by yourself. You can call it plants and flowers. Whatever you want to name your book, you can name it. I'm going to just call it what I see out my window because once again, I'm going to be looking directly out of my window uh, to see the plants and flowers. So let's get started. On my very first page, Let's go look out my window and let's see what I see. One second. So what I can see 
immediately out my window is a lot of grass. And because I don't have a green color, I'm actually gonna use a black color pencil. And I'm just gonna make some grass. You guys, I'm not the best artist. I never claimed that I was. But again, it is the thought and the effort that matters. This looks like grass to me. And this is kind of the grass that I see. And you can draw whatever you see. Right? So that's one of my first illustrations. And I'll just name it green grass um, mode. Because I can tell that this grass has recently been cut by someone. The next thing that I see directly out of my window are dandelions. Unfortunately, I don't have a yellow color pencil, but I do have a corally orange color. I think it'll work. Any color matter, like works here. So now I'm gonna go back to drawing my grass because I see that the dandelions kind of are coexisting with the grass. And again, you guys, it doesn't matter about the actual artistic abilities that you have. It's all about drawing to the best of your abilities what you see. And I see these dandelions kind of come out of the grass. So I'm going to draw a stem and I'm gonna draw a flower. Yes, this is a dandelion. I know it's probably not the best dandelion you've seen, but it works for me. And I see a few different ones. And I see another one. So we're just going to draw a few little dandelions. Voila. And then I can label this whatever I want to. I can label it dandelions in the grass or however I would like to label it. And then when I'm ready, I'll just move on to my next page and continue to draw what I see out of my window. This is a quick overview of the activity. Let's give a lot of thanks to Mary Agnes Chase, who once again changed a lot when it comes to livestock and agriculture. She did a lot for illustration of plants and she was a really phenomenal botanist. I really hope you enjoyed this activity and I really, really, really hope you have a chance to get outside. Thank you all.